All right, all right, all right. Good morning, Foreman Simulator fans. Stretch out. It's 5 o'clock. I'm at the shop. You can see the trucks there. What we got going on today is a busy day. Uh, there will be a little bit of time lapse, but nothing long enough for any uh, music or me giving you long talks. Um, as you can see, uh, not exactly doing well on the cash flow here coming into late autumn. Uh, that $70,000 every three days for the pig is starting to catch up to us. We haven't been doing any uh, jobs outside of, I guess you would say, work. You know, we haven't been actually spending time helping workers, you know. Most of our days have been considered getting our farm together, getting a stable farm in two weeks. Can we do that? So far, we've been doing it. We have to borrow a little bit of money today, hopefully by the end of the day today. We can uh, pay the bank back the money we took a loan out for and start saving us some money on the long run. So, what do y'all think? First, we're going to start off with selling the slurry. And then some animals, I mean... They're the whole reason we can't afford to feed them is there's so many of them. Pigs kind of remind me of spiders. Well, that's a bad analogy, huh? Spiders lay one nest of millions of spiders and then die. The mom dies. Um, I guess they just reproduce like pigs, right? That's what they are, the pigs. Um, so they are the most produced animals in the game. Um, I don't know if you'd put the chicken mod on if you would produce more chickens than you do pigs. I don't know. It depends on how many hens would lay how many eggs. So, let me get right here. Get the uh, trucks hooked up there. Well, this won't take too long because we got we got work to do. Oh, if I can get if I can get three guys like me on the farm, it'd be good. And as you see in my um, multiplayer videos I have been helping Miss Carmack out on the farm I did do another one last night hopefully I can publish it and have it out by tomorrow if not directly after this one so putting the follow me mod on all of them they're ready to go let's get our last one hooked up and get out of here Oof, yawning it's our six o'clock I need a cup of coffee um, yeah they have some construction actually coming to Westbridge Hills two things one you can now get the map in flat land which I don't understand why I guess maybe you trying to use small tractors with big equipment would make you want a flat map or if you just like creating your own fields and having trouble harvesting um, but also, uh, here in our town on Westbridge Hills, um, in the wintertime, we're going to be doing a little bit of, uh, forestry for the town, clearing out some spots. They're going to be having some new equipment or buildings, I should say, brought into town to kind of spruce up the town a little bit. Well, as you can see, our fields are almost ready for harvest. You know, we did harvest 16 and we put in all seed radish directly after so we can have I don't know how many times I have to have this conversation with myself uh, so every time you fertilize is 30 percent 10 percent is when you plow it and then 30 percent or 20 percent when you do all seed radish so does that mean you get a hundred and twenty percent harvest I don't know me and a few people have talked about going back and starting a brand new game on Gold Crest Valley and doing the first field and harvest it and see exactly how much we can save. So, kind of all depends. Should we start here at the pig farm? We don't use slurry, so it's really just a good thing to just go ahead and sell it, right? Just sell it out, right? So, as you see, that truck for the tankers to actually we're saving some money we're not renting the trucks we're just renting the trailers these are all tractors semis it's 
some would call them tractors, some would call them semis. Yeah, we need to get this more compact. We'll just run over that real quick. Um, so we'll stop here at the cow farm first. I was about to take a left, and I was like, well, we were right here. So let's see what we can get. Start that field. So, judging by the amount, and of course, did they follow or are they stuck? Oh, they just stopped. I thought they were stuck. So, it's going to be a little time consuming getting the trucks lined up, knowing the distances. With no teleport on, you know, I got to run to the front, drive it up a little bit more, run to the back, drive it up a little bit more. All right, so as you see the cow when it's going down, we should we should get four trailer loads in, hopefully. If we have to come back for a second run, I'll be excited. So, yeah, that's the one that takes all our stuff. So, I don't know. We'll sell whatever. Mm, I have four trucks. Whatever four truck loads, we'll sell that amount. Um just something to get some money in our pocket I'm gonna actually start and I'll include the maybe the job that I'm gonna start working you know I'm gonna start doing some harvests around I really like harvesting and if you could just plant fertilize in the next morning harvest <laughs> be a millionaire but uh, six days per season um, like I've told many, I uh, started a, another Gold Crest Valley right after I actually uh, sold all the other stuff and did the external account. I went ahead and uh, took out a loan and started a whole nother farm on that one. So that's, can't wait to show y'all that one. That'll probably be a tour of our last video, Farming Simulator 2017. We'll bring it back. We'll have every field having a worker pulling something big and then finishing off the day with like everything in one big field. Y'all pick the field. Tell me what y'all would especially like to see. Would you like to see every equipment with every um, modification? Like you want wide tires. I'll pick wide tires and pick a different color to have a twin set. That way you can tell the differences in the ones. Or if you just want me to put one single tractor with an attachment behind it. I'll put the smallest one with the biggest cultivator. It doesn't matter to me. It's whatever you people, my fans, want to see. So, like I said, this is what's going to take the longest. is to line up our trucks to the Surrey. I'm going to miss this map. I like it. I have a mods map where I do my John Deere mod reviews on. Um... If you look at the bank account on that one, it's obviously not this little bit amount, but uh, yeah, I think it's a good map. At our two weeks mark, that'll be our season two start of this two seasons on Westbridge Hills. I'll go ahead and do the map reveal for our next American map. I've been doing a lot of mods, getting that form ready. Still going to do a drive around, a show, and then go ahead and show you all the equipment that came in the map, sell it, and then we'll start doing our purchases. Using our money from our exterior mods, we will put it on easy mode. They'll give us a little extra money. Prices won't be as high, and we'll get some better deals and more great demands. And that'll that'll make it a little bit more interesting. A um, few mods to bring to the table, which is I really like them. Um, one, it's in the mod hub for an update, but I kind of tried to change it to fix it before they updated it, and I got it to work. But then now that they have an updated version, I don't know should I delete the old one and 
download the updated version or since I fixed what they updated anyway just leave it unless it's this weird hump in the middle of the road after you put this placeable down it's the only thing I don't like about it other than that it's a great mod and we're actually gonna see it on our next map because whew, I'm sure y'all are tired of seeing me with a forklift dropping stuff all over the ground also I just uh, I want to say released but uh, Formcom is actually going on right now in Germany so super excited um, if you didn't see the sneak peek of the Formin Simulator 19 venue it's actually a R6R John Deere tractor with a horse standing next to it so I don't just think it's gonna be the 8 series I think we're gonna see John Deere with a cotton harvester a regular harvester the forage harvester I think we're gonna get the the R6 the R8 maybe even the R9 series tracks alright if anybody remembers my manure cell let's hopefully this isn't as bad as that huh anybody know where to sell this thing at like help me if I don't know but I don't know I really want to sell all this too before we leave that would be a great extra chunk of change before we leave <gasps> can we just directly sell it stop 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 let's see press it oh there we go little glitch I had already reversed it before but there's the money bring the money bring me the money beep 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 all right worker sorry you fired um you did good you did real good kid I'm gonna try to get two selling at once I don't know if that's gonna work I think the other one's already finished the money is not even moving. Oh, there we go. Who the head is? But the money is not going up. Can't believe I forgot to unload it. Let's go see here. Let's see what I did. Let's see what I did here. I forgot to press the button. Alright, so we'll fire Jeff and Bob here. Tell them they did a great job. Mm, it's going to be a tight squeeze. I got that. Oh, America's one of the big daddy. Could have been tighter. I'd have got it. Now, does he have it? He should stop right there until I'm ready for him. I'm not exactly banking so far. <clears throat> I'm only getting a thousand dollars a trailer. So I don't know. We had this discussion when we talked about selling manure the other day. I ended up making money, but it wasn't. <clears throat> I don't think it was worth. Well, it was worth your time. It was worth my time. I just wish I'd have been more prepared, I guess you would say. So, here we come. Yeah, this poor truck and those other two trucks, all we did with those was bought water trailers, purchased water for them, and then parked them at their destination. So they only crank on Sundays when we go give them water. But with the mod seasons... Uh, usually on Wednesday nights, Tuesday, Wednesday nights, I go ahead and refill them at the same time off screen. Just uh, keeps it kind of, you know, going. So what y'all think? What's the, well, how long you think the next season should be? Should it be uh, three? It'd be kind of fast, but it would keep us going on a, two year series pretty fast and that would get us to our next map as fast as we could as well so alright well I'm going to get all these bad boys back lined up do what I do just uh remember we're going to be doing with uh counselor you got to watch your shoes
All right, it's like deja vu, like we've just arrived at the exact same spot that we just left. I told you it was going to be a little time lapse, so all I did was I took off, went to the pigs. Did the same thing I did at the cows. I'm just super excited I got to, uh, well, that was professional. You know how much that bumper costs and how much I'm going to have to replace those pipes? All the money I made today, I just lost. So, uh... As you can see, we were getting 900 earlier. Now we're getting 8. So the more we're giving the plant, the less money we're going to make, of course. You know, supply and demand. I'm not using the Surrey fertilizer. But I'm giving it all to them. So, And I don't buy from them. So the bio plant's not making money, but they're taking it from us. So demand is low, so prices will be low. And I'm still not ready for harvest. Come on, baby. My people want to see a harvest. Let's get it, Mother Nature. All right. Last one. Bringing them back to the shop. Getting rid of them pigs. I don't know if we can do any cows today. I'm not sure. What y'all think? Well, if y'all say no and I sell them. Because I already did the video before you can comment. I guess. I don't know what you're going to do. But since you already know what I'm going to do. Let's get it. Wow, what a good boss I am, huh? Didn't even realize that Bob never got in the truck. He went out and started looking at the pigs. Started talking on his cell phone. I said, what you doing? He says, my wife. I said, what she needs? Oh, just call and see how my first day at work was. I said, well, guess what? Tell her to come pick you up at the pig farm. Because you're done. Got to go. All right, so... The pig slur is still saying 300. I could do one more trailer to cows. I don't know. But that 200 plus cattle has got to go. So. Now that we have all our trucks. Lined up. I'm going to go get this one more tank. Get that extra. Probably be $700 now. And. Uh, see what we can do from there. For us selling manure the other day, still have a lot of manure left. We probably could have done a lot more. Maybe dumped them inside the uh, silage bins. <laughs> I'm trying to be a whack a packer here and compact it myself. Just make a little extra slurry. Mmm, my tank's low. Oh, almost fell in. That stinks. So, let's get this one more tank going. Get rid of these Garrett green tanks. When was the biggest slurry tank? Mm -hmm. Pretty sure I could have used the uh, cat trailer. But the two cat trailers, the auto loader and the, the water tank, is probably the only one I've never had trouble with. The tipper, I can't load logs in it. You know, so let's get it. Suck it dry. All right, let's go sell this one. This winter, I'll be giving everything a good cleaning, filling them up, uh, servicing them, bringing them back out, and sticking them where they belong. Anybody know where there's a coffee shop in Westbridge Hills? Like, yeah, coffee. Look at that. Compact in there. What is it at? 75? We need to hurry. Because in the wintertime, it actually starts to decay. If you have the Seasons mod on. I don't know if most of y'all know that or not. 
So, also, uh, grass in the fields uncut one that'll start to decay. And if you don't silage wrap your bales, they will also decay in the winter time. So you'll still have a bale, but it just won't be the hundred percent, three thousand liters or whatever. So we're going ahead and lining them up, getting ready for this. Bringing them back. My worker said, I ain't got nobody got time for that. It's a beautiful day outside. Don't worry, we're going to start it. Jeez. When the people leave the key out the ignition. So, um, I don't know. Some people might have it. Some people might not. Let's see if follow me can reach. Good, good, good. Um... I didn't want to get it stuck in the gate. So, uh, I don't know. Some people do, some people don't. I was playing multiplayer the other night. And they had automatic start on. So, whenever we hopped around, because everybody has always got these weird mods. So, I always got to find these like small maps that nobody even knows about. And uh, go work for them, which I love. I love helping people. Um, yeah, let's go turn these in and get some work started. All right, and as you can see, uh, I'm going to keep the time lapse on, but I'm just going to talk that way. We still get it done. Try to keep it within our 30-minute timeline here. Let's go ahead and load them up. Like I said, it's going to be at least the four trailers. Loading them up, getting them going. Look at that. Who says you can't back up a big rig, baby? Whew. It's a tight turn. Wait your turn. It's tight, tight. So 38 times... Four, if you can guess that's how many we're gonna sell today I don't know how many y'all wanted to sell today but it seems like a good number so we're getting rid of about 136 if they let me look at that I drove it straight in said get in the front seat we going all right we know where to go let's get it long drive there there's a golden nugget right here somewhere haven't found it yet but when I do Y'all will know. Let's go ahead, start making the, the money. All right. So we're just emptying up our last one here. As you could tell, those pigs, for being worth so much trouble, brought in so much money today. But I promise you, I spent more than what we made today on animals. So we have 53 left. We could sell some sheep. Um, which I want to do. The sheep is just right over there. Oh, we'll circle back around and maybe go get some cows. How about that? Y'all down with that? 
cows do bring in milk though I should probably keep them but must whip it around and get it have you ever drove through these fences it is not easy but we gonna get it today da -da -da, da -da -da. these things must have been for like old time tractors oh it's gonna be a tight turn <gasps> oh no hit the brakes guys hit the brakes hit the brakes <coughs> you over there hit the brakes hit the brakes this is what happens when I start paying y'all to work after 5 o'clock y'all point me in the wrong direction get out the phoenix I'll drive Whew, 6 o'clock in the afternoon it's like I just woke up started working 14 hours ago because you know, by the time I got to the shop with all the trucks, I was 4 o'clock. I had to wake up to be out there for 5. Start the video. Ooh, take a, take a right. Take a right. Let me back this one up first. You got to put the lead out front. Um, <coughs> okay, I left the reverse lights on. Isn't that kind of weird? Jumped out with the ceiling missing. The ceiling stays in reverse. So... Let me know how bad I messed this up. Don't even know if I'm going to fix it. What do y'all think? It's 6.30. It's Tuesday afternoon. So, we sold some slurry. Actually, we sold all the form slurry. Wow. Look at this. Talk about full retardation. What am I going to do with these guys? You pay them after 6 o'clock and they wreck your equipment. So, I don't know what to do. Um, let me go ahead and stop this worker, that's for sure. Um, great. Now i got to explain the wife why I'm repairing my trailers on leased property. Not even my own property. Oh, no. I'm stuck on the fence post. <sighs> well, guys, I don't want y'all to have to see me struggle with this too much. Can I? Can I? Can I? Yeah, yeah. Chicka, chicka, chicka. Bang, bang. I'm pretty sure this isn't going to be a good follow me. <coughs> because the guys are so smart, they don't know how to back up. So, I think I'm going to call it quits for today, right here. I'll figure it out. I'm America's former Big Daddy, coming to you from Westbridge Hills. Good night. Thank you. Have a good night. Click like, dislike. Let me know what you want to see. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.